Hello guys. Today I want to show you my newest addition to the Fake Tuck series. This is the Fake Tuck Scout. Um, like the Fake Tuck Commander I released a while ago. I did not make a video on this because I'm still missing uh, a part. But the Fake Tuck is pretty much the big boy version. And I'm still missing the real USB C connector up here it's it's a little bit delayed from Aliexpress but yeah this is the big boy really big with over 10,000 milliamp of battery but that's not what it is about today today I want to show you the smaller one the Scout um, the Scout pretty much features the same stuff than the big one a really good um, GPS antenna and a compact lower antenna not the greatest but it will still do uh, the diameter max is 12 millimeters so you can of course choose a different one if you want to um, as of now it features a metal belt adapter so you can put it on your vest or your belt or whatever I will add another plate with a modular mount where you can just screw whatever you want onto. Let's go over it. On the outside we can see there is no visible LED, no light, because this is a technical disadvantage which could give away your position of course, especially in a night game. So it, should, it only relies on audio feedback. So when I switch the unit, oh it was on, when I switch it on. This is the main power switch on off. When I switch it on, you can hear the feedback. Now I know it is switched on. It has a uh, GPS and I don't want GPS to be on constantly of course. So I also have a button on the side. And like you know from the mesh, t mesh testing notes, with, by pressing three times you can uh, activate or deactivate GPS. So let's go and deactivate it because I switched it to enable on stock, so no. now it's off. You can hear the tune goes from top to low and now reverse when I switch it on the tune goes from bottom to high. And now it is switched on. Uh, yeah, main switch is here. Um, as you can see we also have direct access to the USB-C port protected by a TPU plug so this is not at all waterproof but it is dust proof and somewhat water resistant but I would not like put it on in pouring down rain anyways and one of the really cool things is the 18650 cell so you can simply unscrew the side and as you can see here with the 18650 cell you can out and this is a this is a prototype so this looks very rough on this side but that is the only downside because on normal military equipment on the really expensive stuff you know that there is like the spring in the cap and there's like a metal a brass metal insert and you can see like some sort of contact plate down here that like connects ground with the rest of the system so to work around this I had to at this when you can see so on the back there you can see we have no more a normal spring well like you know it from normal batteries and on the top we see for the mass so normally we're not taking uh, the mass point from the back of the battery but from the side part because the, pretty much the whole 18650 cell is all one big mass point and only the top is plus so this is a really big cutout um, the actual one is much much smaller and more precise but that's pretty much it that's the only downside of it so you have to like cut a little bit from the lithium battery but it doesn't do anything really because the whole pretty much the whole battery is mess at this point you just screw it on there's also like TPU everywhere a little lanyard yard that holds the cap and you simply switch it on and we should get the tune in a bit there you go, it is switched on. So this is the very first finished prototype I was testing and carrying around and I was seeing a few issues, um, just uh, a few features first. So the 
the, the button on the side as you can see works like this we have a micro switch here and it is turned on by turning the knob in here there will be a little ball bearing in the spring that will prevent the switch from overturning that's how this was solved um, another problem I had of course when you want to update the fake tech that's inside here you have no way to press the reset switch because it's all the way in there so in the new version therefore there's like a hole here that is normally closed up with a screw because you normally don't need the reset uh, switch that often but what it pretty much does is when you see when I align the front and back and exactly I don't know if you can see that but it pretty much presses exactly on the reset switch so you can easily flash firmware whenever you need to just have to unscrew and the whole length is guided so there's no danger by shortcutting anything and directly leads onto the reset switch on the fake tech board yeah the button inside here is a very nice water resistant one metal heavy uh, heavy duty it is protected from accidental switching so you have to go with your fingers really in there if you just like from the side from a you won't be able to to activate the switch so that's that um, here is the new model I'm working on as you can see we have SMA for GPS and SMA for the health tech fake tech sorry <laughs> and same with the battery here you can see this is how it's supposed to look like so there's just a little cut on top here and this is a little guideline so you know it needs to be in between those there's the spring loaded contact and when you take attention on the top here this is the spring loaded contact so when I put the battery in it goes up and down and there's a metal part that in the end contacts the 18650 cell that will power the fake tech then of course you can charge the fake tech over USB-C no problem um, and that is that pretty much what else is there it's just not really not really much oh yeah um, I tried different materials this one is uh, olive green from everyone not too bad but today uh, I got like from polymaker also olive green it's matte and this looks way more like the real deal I really like the color much more than this one this is a little shiny while this is really nice dark olive green I wish I had that earlier but of course I'm not gonna put everything in here but the next one I'm gonna build I'm definitely gonna put this uh, gonna use this one yeah that's it pretty much uh, part list is there lots of parts it is an advanced build so uh, let alone the fact that you need to build your own fake tech and the rest is also it's it's not it's 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 it's, it's, it's a bit of work it's quite a bit of work but it is absolutely doable so thanks for watching you can find the link for this in the video description below have fun building one if you have questions feel free to ask bye